Hello, my name is Zachary Grimes, and I'm here from Your Craft Beer. When we came in this weekend, we had the idea for a subscription-based craft beer service that would be uh, send 12 craft beers to our consumer every month. But we ran into some legality issues about getting uh, licenses in order to make it viable and shipping, especially across state lines. So we decided to pivot to become an intermediary, which would work with a current liquor stores who have a retail license and also who have a um, shipping, federal shipping license in order to connect our consumers who cannot get Connecticut craft beers outside of the state to the consumers or to the retailers who can get that to them. But we had an issue that we need to find a customer base and draw people to our site before we could even get to this point. My experience in, uh, in the industry, I work for Fresh Bev, a craft juicery here in New Haven. Uh, so I have connections with a lot of liquor stores. We have a fresh press bar mixer. So I, I've met a lot of, uh, in the past year, a lot of liquor, own, uh, liquor store owners and also a team member, Connor, uh, works at Amity Hamden locally uh, near Quinnipiac University campus. Um, in order to validate our idea, we um, surveyed 150 people, uh, Quinnipiac, our family, and friends, and we found out people's preferences and that they are interested in trying new craft beers and uh, that they are looking to learn more about the industry. We talked to two attorneys that told us that our idea initially uh, was vi would be viable, but we'd have to go through uh, a lot of uh, we'd have to go through a lot of uh, issues in order to get this done. Uh, I talked to package stores, uh, specifically uh, Wise Old Dog, who told me that our idea of being an intermediary was viable, but he was worried about uh, being able to get customers drawn to the site. And we also spoke with breweries who were looking to get attention drawn to them, which is where we came up with our third idea, which was to create a blog in order to draw attention to the craft beer scene in the state of Connecticut. Uh, what do we plan to do? We plan to have beer reviews of breweries, uh, new beers that are coming out. Uh, we want to go to a lot of events and uh, start writing articles on that. Uh, to also, we can promote our site there, and we also want to have a lot of apparel and accessories to get promotion. Uh, our goal is to create a following. We need a following to get to our end goal of being an intermediary for liquor stores. So we are going to gain users to our site with the end goal of using the user base to get, uh, to get sales through the, uh, our intermediary, intermediary service. Uh, and we're gonna leverage my partnerships with liquor stores who told me it was viable for their idea in order to make this work. Uh, our target market will be college students. We're trying to get a transition from domestic beers in order to the craft industry. Because of money issues, you know, we don't have the ability to drink craft beers because of price. So they need help transitioning and learning more about craft beers in the industry. Uh, some of our key partners are CT Craft Breweries. We want to start in the state of Connecticut, so in order to do this, we've talked to some breweries who are looking to get a lot more promotion and learn, uh, have people learn more about what they do. Uh, we're also going to promote ourselves through liquor stores, through my connections, and they will help them get more people into their liquor stores, and on top of this, sell more beer. And uh, we're also going to be basing our idea off an alumni company at Quinnipiac University called Lost in Sound. Basically what Lost in Sound does is they review concerts and they have developed a huge following through that, and we think if we follow that model, that we will be able to be successful also. Uh, our goal is to continue as a team after this weekend. Our first, uh, first uh, necessity is to develop a website so we can start getting some followers. We're gonna start pulling content from other sites, other reviews, and start getting some followers, and from there on, we're going to start to generate our own original content. We'll get that from going to events, talking to breweries, going to breweries, going to tastings, and working with them. And also we're going to start uh, gaining user-generated content through blogs and get feedback from what people like, events they're going to, what they like, where they're drinking, and where they're trying the best craft beers in the state. Uh, eventually we want to obviously start earning revenue, but first we have to develop this audience. So we are going to start to sell, sell uh, beer-related accessories, whether that's clothing, t-shirts, mugs, growlers, bottle openers. We're also going to hold some events and sponsor some events. Uh, some events I've been to recently were uh, Meriden Silver City Brew Fest and Taste in Simsbury, which brought at least 500 people, so we can, we can reach a large audience. Also, we want to be able to sell the data back to breweries and the liquor store to see what people are drinking and see what people think of their beers. Uh, we developed a site of what we would plan to do um, after this weekend. And basically, we can just uh, review um, some have a review of some of the uh, events that we're going to go to, be able to sell some of our, of our equipment, 
uh, whether it's beer mugs, bottle openers, and uh, talk about some local pubs. For example, this is for uh, Plan B in Glastonbury. It's a great craft beer uh, pub, and a lot of people are. Uh, Some other sites who are doing this, but there's not too many that are Connecticut based, and we, you know, we wanted to start, you know, what would make us minimally viable to start off. And in order to do that, we would start in the state of Connecticut with the eventual plan to expand. But there's no one who's specifically targeting that audience, and it's Connecticut uh, targeting, uh, you know, Connecticut brewers only to promote throughout the state. Right. Because if you look at uh, what's being done in other states. Uh, not all too much, but we, we looked at a lot of review sites that are out there, and uh, I mean, we, we were focusing on what would make us minimally viable, which would be to start in the state of Connecticut. At this point, there's no one in the state of Connecticut, so we, we thought that that would be uh, able to get us started. Any craft beers in the state of Connecticut? How many craft beers are in the state of Connecticut? Breweries. Um, we've talked to at least 30, and uh, I know we talked to some, uh, our legal counsel. There's a lot more that are up and coming. He has three currently who are looking to get the permits and able to start their own breweries. But at this point, there's 30 plus. Okay. I would just imagine that distributors would have sales numbers, and they wouldn't necessarily need that. <coughs> well, um, at my craft juice, we have a partner uh, partnership with Berkshire Brewery Company who distributes to us. So I spoke with a gentleman called Derek, who's a salesman there. And yes, they do have sales numbers, but we're more looking to be an intermediary service for the liquor store, not a distributor. Because distributors cannot ship beer to a customer's front door, where if, as um, a uh, liquor store has the ability to get a shipper's permit, and they'll then uh, ship directly to a, uh, to a consumer's front door, which a distributor is not. So we'll be able to help the retailer would be our goal, not to help the distributor. Uh, yes, Connor works at Amity Hampton, so he's starting to get some experience with beer. And I have uh, industry experience with a craft company, not beer, but I work for a craft juicery, which is the first in the nation. So I understand what it's like to work for a small company, work, make small batches, and a lot of the struggles and things that you go through being in the craft industry. So not necessarily beer related, but I understand the craft industry very well. And the business model, do you have any, uh, do you have a sense of how much people would be willing to pay for this information? Uh, we didn't look at how much the information we would, uh, how much money we'd be able to get for the information that we'd see from our blogs, but we'd at least be able to uh, use some of our company. Our um, Jason Beckerman has a company called Proli uh, Prolific, and we'd be able to use him to help analyze the data and see what we could get for that. We'd use our QU connections. Thank you.